Yes, good afternoon. Savi here from Football Heritage TV. It may be the international week, but Tottenham Hotspur in the news again. In the last 24 hours, several publications have reported that Tottenham are already going back in for Lloyd Kelly of Bournemouth. So obviously we know Lloyd Kelly plays centre-back for Bournemouth, who are currently second bottom in the table. Um, but... We had a bid rejected for him, uh, according to all reports, on deadline day, which was £20 million. And Spurs are going to go back in for him in January. Now, I've just picked up one of the articles. There's several articles I could have gone for. But let's read through this report and then we'll talk about him in a little bit more detail. So hopefully you can see here that it says, hopefully everyone can see that, everyone can read that, The Tottenham transfers Johan Lang, ready to deliver Ange Postacoglu, first signing to bolster centre-back spot. Makes it sound all very glamorous. The report goes on to say that new Tottenham sporting director Johan Lange looks set to deliver his first signing. Um, Spurs had an outstanding summer of recruitment. I mean, it's a bit over the top, but while also announcing Postacoglu as their new manager, Moves that see them top of the Premier League table after eight games of the new season. However, they go on to say that January looks set to be a pivotal month for the North London club, with the Asian Cup and African Cup of Nations set to strip the team of Sun, Papa Matasar and Ibasuma. So it talks about finding a way of navigating through, through this difficult period. It then goes on to talk about um, Conor Gallagher in midfield. But here it says, but it's at centre-back where Tottenham are low on strength. So it talks about us getting rid of Tanganga and Roden and Davinson Sanchez has gone to Galatasaray. Then it talks about Eric Dyer being out of favour, Ashley Phillips being young, Ben Davis having to turn to him. And it tells us a little bit here about what Postacoglu said about our centre-back position. And he said, it's fair to say that we are a little bit light there. But at the same time, I thought for Davinson, it was a good opportunity where he could get a long-term contract. We needed to rebuild and change this squad. There was no point in just tinkering around the edges. We need to do meaningful work. And it was never going to get done in one window, which he's absolutely right about. Then if we get to the crux of the, of the article, you can see here it says Tottenham back in for Lloyd Kelly. Postacoglu concerns, with Postacoglu concerns in mind, Football London reports that Tottenham are ready to renew their interest in Bournemouth's Lloyd Kelly. Spurs failed with a £20 million offer for Kelly in, on transfer deadline day after Postacoglu found out the extent of Galatasaray's interest in Sanchez. Now it says that Tottenham are going to turn their attention back to the former England under-21 international. And then it says for a cheaper transfer fee due to his contract status. And we'll get back to this. Um, it talks about um, uh, Johan Lang coming in, taking over from Paratici. And now it's saying that they're going to be looking at Lloyd Kelly once again. Now, I have uh, questions surrounding this signing. I had questions in the summer surrounding it. Now, I know you're not allowed to question these things because everyone just says, well, if Ange wants him, I want him. But we're football fans. And I've seen Spurs make this type of signing before. And I've seen this type of signing fail. And I'm going to ask everyone, is Lloyd Kelly the calibre of player that Tottenham Hotspur need to push forward and to be a big player in the world of football? Is Lloyd Kelly the type of signing where you go, yeah, you know what? I feel completely and utterly at ease with this signing. Now, yes, just for one second, can we please? I know people are going to go, oh, it doesn't matter. Ange wants him. I'm sure there are better defenders that Ange Postacoglu wants. Now, Tottenham Hotspur, we know we need a centre-half. Of course we need a centre-half. You've got uh, Van de Ven and Romero who are striking up a wonderful partnership. But the moment one of them gets injured, we're back to Davis, Dyer or an unknown Ashley Phillips. Now, whilst I'd like to see Ashley Phillips given some minutes, can you play him if Romero or Van de Ven were to pick up a serious six-month injury? Could you play him that whole time? And how much would that disrupt the back line? So, yes, we need a centre-half. But is Lloyd Kelly that guy? Now, if we look at Lloyd Kelly's Wikipedia page here, I'm not knocking him, but let's have a look. So we can see here that Lloyd Kelly, it says here that he's mainly a centre-back, 
but can also play as a left back as well. That might come into the thinking for Tottenham Hotspur. It, it could come into the thinking that he can play two positions. But it's here I want to look where you can see here that he played for Bristol City before moving to Bournemouth. And if we look at his career, my concern would be this. Two concerns that I would have. One, if we actually look in and around um, the, the area at the bottom there where it talks about his, his, his uh, appearances for Bournemouth, you've got eight in the Premier League four years ago. And since then, he's played 24 Premier League games. So in the last four years, most of his football has been in the championship. And then the last year and one game has been in the, in the Premier League. So 24 Premier League appearances. Now, there's two ways of looking at this, right? Let's call it. There's two ways of looking at this. One, Spurs have exceptional talent ID now. And Lloyd Kelly's going to come in. Ange Postacoglu is going to raise his game from there to there. We're all going to be put in the mud or anyone doubting it will be put in the mud. And this is a great signing. He's going to be brilliant. He'll work his way into the England squad and everyone will be singing Ange his praises. There's another way of looking at this, a little bit more of a cynical look. And I just want to look at that for one moment, because whilst Ange Postacoglu is a fantastic man manager, a fantastic coach, I am asking the question, is this the level of ambition that Spurs need or is this the same old, same old? Now, what do I mean by that? This is a guy that is in the last year of his contract. And Spurs seem very good in the last few years at getting players who are in the last year of their contract. I don't know whether it's because we won't go out and pay, whether it's lazy scouting. I don't know what it is, but we're very good at, oh, He's in the last year of his contract. Let's go and buy him. 20 million was turned down, but more than likely, if we're going to get him in January, it's going to be a lot cheaper than 20 million at the risk of Bournemouth losing him on a free in uh, the summer. So that plays into the hands of what Daniel Levy likes, of the, the recruitment that we've been doing, the recruitment that we know. I'm just going to ask this. When people tell me I'm negative, when people tell me, oh, what we're doing is brilliant. We're in a title challenge. We're going to win leagues. If Ange is here and back for the next three, four years, we're going to definitely win everything. Cool. I'll go along with that. But is signings like Lloyd Kelly the one? Brennan Johnson, Lloyd Kelly, Solomon. These, for me, are very mm, iffy, mediocre signings, if I'm brutally honest. Van der Ven, top signing. Madison, top signing. Madison in the last year of his contract. Vicario, good signing cheap. My, my concern is this is what we've always done. I'm not saying it can't change. I'm not saying it won't change before people say, oh, you're negative. I'm not. I'm just concerned that we've seen this time after time after time. Be honest with me. Who before we were linked with Lloyd Kelly would have said, you know what? Do you know who's a good centre back that we should go and get? Lloyd Kelly's your guy. Spoken to a few Bournemouth fans that I know. They've told me that there's nothing special about this guy, that they're surprised that Tottenham would want Lloyd Kelly, that he's OK, he's a steady Eddie. Um, but is he is he that good that he should probably be playing for a team that want to challenge for things and win things? Probably not. Hey, I'm sure if I spoke to another five Bournemouth fans, they'd tell me something different. So I'm just asking the question today. And let's see how many comments we can get in the comments section without... If Ange wants him, I want him. Let's not do that because I heard that with Conte and a lot of those signings were dreadful. So is this what Spurs needs, need? Let me know your thoughts on this. I'm really interested to know. Is this just an easy signing? Is this just a lazy signing? Should we be looking up better or is this going to fly under the radar and it'll be brilliant for Spurs for years to come. Now, obviously, we've not signed him yet. Nothing can happen until the January transfer window. But if ever I saw a signing that had Daniel Levy written all over it, it is this. So the whole things are going to change now. Daniel, Levy, Daniel Levy's learned from his mistakes. He knows what he's doing now. He's going to change for Ange. It's different. I'm not so sure yet. I need to be convinced I really need to be convinced. I'm sure many others do. I'm sure many others don't. They just don't have an opinion. They just go with the flow. That's absolutely fine. I'm here to create content. I'm just asking questions before everyone goes mad. So let me know your thoughts. Lloyd Kelly to Tottenham. Good signing. Mediocre signing. Typical Spurs signing. Brilliant signing. What do you think?
Let me know. Please like, please subscribe. We'll be back later on for the England under-21s versus Ukraine under-21s. And then we'll be back for all of the live Euro games tonight at 7.30. Take care. And as always, come on, you Spurs. <laughs>